promoting artistic intervention also brings us to the discussion on how we can actually facilitate uh, cross-sectoral spillovers uh, between different industries, between creative industries and other industries. Uh, and there I think we need to provide better incentives like creative vouchers for instance or to provide more collaboration platforms, brokerage platforms for ideas, for collaborative pro projects to emerge. Artists open up uh, structures and even break structures and I think that's important that new people in this, uh, in this example it will be artists coming into old and traditional organization and then they break up the structures, open up them and that's the most important because then uh, people in those structures can be more creative, creative and that's I think the most uh, significant that, that uh, you can bring. Uh, what can an association do? I do, I'm convinced that it's really something really worth sort of promoting just because we live in a, in a period of very quick changes and that uh, this period really needs people who sort of adapt to different types of thinking uh, very quickly, right? So, and artistic interventions can help. Uh, what a European association can do uh, is really what, I mean, working for the commissions, I could say that we've always been very inspired by uh, the demands coming from, uh, uh, from people actually sort of taking initiatives, in particular in civil society, um, uh, to actually sort of uh, push European-wide uh, ideas that are going to sort of lead us to better prepare for the future. Confronted to this, this new context, I, it, it forces me to think outside my, outside my box. So, uh, and when I come back to, to, to uh, the situation with the, that I'm used to, instructing uh, the actors, I come back with, sh more sh with sharper tools and uh, uh, more understanding. I understand my tools better and sometimes I even come back with new tools. The assumption is that artistic intervention are rocking the way people are thinking about the change, the optimization, um, and the way they, they see, they feel uh, innovation in product, innovation in services, the way they can change and improve the layout of the organization, and of course the way they can probably put a bit of revolution in the way they consider the end users. Yes, uh, what would happen with more public support for artistic interventions? I think that's a very crucial question because overall we should see that uh, the consumers want to have new products, new services and uh, it's a lot of emotion behind uh, new ideas. And so it's quite uh, important to see that we have a wide range of people who are very creative, who are artisans and uh, which play a crucial role in the daily life. And uh, from the public side, I think it's very important to put them on stage. And uh, on stage, they could have a good performance uh, in a kind of interdisciplinary way where we can look uh, with uh, which ideas we can create uh, new innovation and innovation which helps the consumer uh, to make the right choice. Mountain does not come to the profit. It's probably because it's a mountain. <laughs> it has no legs.